from Imwambo village in Kalabo district of Western Province to Manda Hill, where he served as Speaker of the National Assembly of Zambia. Amusa Mwanamwambwa stands tall on an elevated pedestal of public service where few have stood. His service as Cabinet Minister, Parliamentarian and Speaker of the National Assembly is one of the most remarkable tales of public service in the country's history. Mr. Mwanamwamba, who holds the record as one of the longest seven speakers, served the National Assembly in that capacity from 1998 to 2011. My first duty to the House is to convey my respectful acknowledgments and my grateful thanks to all honourable members for the great honour you have conferred on me as Speaker of this honourable house. Clerk of the National Assembly, Roy Ngulube, has catalogued some of the former Speaker's achievements. Most of the establishments that we have, the constituency offices, parliament radio, parliament TV, the visitor centre, and many other reforms um, uh, can be traced to the reform agenda that he started uh, when he just uh, took over. In 1991, Mr. Mwanamambwa was elected as the Yowa Member of Parliament. Between 1993 and 1998, the astute public servant served in various ministerial portfolios such as tourism, youth and sports, legal affairs and information and broadcasting. I, Amusa Katunda Wanamwambwa, having been appointed minister in the government of the Republic of Zambia, do swear that I will in this office well and truly serve the Republic and the President of Zambia. Deputy Chief Justice Michael Msonda has described the late speaker as a diligent worker. This has been a family of extreme selflessness in terms of what had to place at the disposal of this country. And so we are devastated. Charles Milupi, the Minister of Infrastructure, Housing and Urban Development, is a long-time friend who remembers some of Mr. Monomomba's passions. I think he was a straightforward person, but not only was he straightforward, I think the development of the country was uppermost in his mind. In his retirement, Mr. Mwanamwamba authored a book titled Mr. Speaker, an autobiography of his life and career. Earlier in his career, he worked as an information assistant at the Zambia Information Services before he was later appointed information attaché at the Zambian Permanent Mission to the United Nations in 1970. He was born in 1940 and died on October 21st, 2023. Masauso Mukwayaya, ZNBC News, Lusaka.